funny. We will keep an eye on that as we move to the breaking news at Mayfair Mall. Police are still searching for the gunman who opened fire this afternoon. Eight people were injured. Just into the newsroom, police say an investigation leads them to believe this was not a random act. The shooting was the result of some type of altercation. Now, the mall has been cleared, but law enforcement is still on scene processing that mall. Let's go live to Stephanie Haynes with the latest. Stephen Shannon, all quiet here at Mayfair Mall. Within the half hour, dozens of law enforcement vehicles left Mayfair Mall. Some will stay behind to continue to process the scene, but the people who were there at the time of the shooting say they heard the shots and ran for their lives. Shortly before 3 Friday afternoon, Wauwatosa police say they got a call about a report of a shooting at Mayfair Mall. People inside the mall at the time describe sheer terror. All I heard was like five gunshots, like a pistol, pop, 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 pop. In that same second, I knew right away it was a gunshot. And, and then they just started coming one after the other, and we just dropped to the ground and ran. Bianca De Los Reyes was working inside Macy's when she says she saw a person drop to the floor. So I tugged and then I was like, I got to get out. I got to get out. So I, um, I ran. I just ran. Wauwatosa Police Chief Barry Weber said when crews arrived, the suspect was not there. Instead, they found eight people hurt, including one teenager. Upon hearing the news, people rushed to the mall to make sure their loved ones stuck inside were OK. One parent heard two shots while on the phone with his daughter who was inside. Sound like somebody shooting in the mall. I'm, I'm a naive dad. I'm like in a mall. That don't sound right. That don't even sound realistically. That's just a place where people come shopping. It's going to be the holidays. People are shopping, getting ready for holidays. So many people said they couldn't believe it was real. One man told us his uncle was among those shot, and he has this to say. I'm furious about this incident. It's like, why would you do that? Why would you put in people at lot risk? You got kids, toddlers, little babies that don't deserve this. If you still need to meet up with somebody who was stuck inside the mall, you go to the at home store that's on Mayfair Road just north of Burleigh. Meantime, the mall will be closed tomorrow. In Wauwatosa, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News. All right, Stephanie, thank you. The first emergency calls went out at 248. That sent police to the scene of the nation's latest mass shooting. Let's have a listen. I'll swap head to the mall for shots fired. It got me two juveniles shot, main web. Gunshot wounds. Everyone seems to be coherent, and it's just out of appendages. Nothing fatal at this point. Happy three victims. Am I, is that correct? Nobody knows. Nobody has a description. All of the victims being treated at Children's and Freighter hospitals. The hospitals say they were given an alert about the shooting around three o'clock. They had their trauma teams on standby as the ambulances rolled in. The hospitals have not provided any updates on the condition of those eight shooting victims. It was a long several hours as people waited for their loved ones who were stuck inside that lockdown mall. Friends and family members were told to wait at the at-home store just about a mile down the road from Mayfair Mall. People stuck inside the mall had to be interviewed before being dropped off by MCTS buses. Uh, four hours or something like that, three and a half, 345. So it was, it was a while. I just wanted to hold them. When they said they didn't have to call the coroner, and I thought, yes, everybody's alive. It was an emotional reunion for many. And again, Mayfair Mall has been cleared, but it will be closed tomorrow. Amid all the confusion and the chaos, there were acts of heroism. As that situation was still unfolding, I interviewed Bruce Riley over the phone. He has a store at Mayfair. He says once he heard the gunfire, he tried to get as many people to safety as he could. Probably around, say, 14, 15 different gunshots um, in the Macy's area over in that direction. Um, upon hearing the shots, uh, I had my uh, four-year-old within the store. Um, mm -hmm. I put her in the back room, locked her in the back room, told her to wait there. Um, make my way to the front door, I see crowds of people just running out. Um, I try to grab as many as I can to bring them into our storefront for cover. And within the next five to ten minutes, there was uh, police coming everywhere, ambulance and fire trucks coming in. 
Mayfair Mall releasing this statement saying they're disheartened and angered. Our guests and tenants were subject to this violent incident today. We are thankful for our partners at the Wauwatosa Police Department and we are cooperating with them as their investigation develops. Governor Tony, Tony Evers wishing the victims a speedy recovery tonight. He put out this statement in a tweet, quote, saying, our hearts go out to those who were injured. Kathy and I are thinking of them and their families. He goes on to say, we are also thinking about all the customers and workers affected by this act of violence and are grateful for the first responders who helped get people to safety.